and then the manual approach that's a approach which is uh, very popular because it's just free you know you have no licensing costs you don't pay any kind of third party tool um, but it's very labor intensive so if you, if you don't want to spend time on, on tools then you then you have to spend the human resources so your, your, your staff has to do the whole migration and yeah things are, are going to lose like metadata it only works with a limited content size so that's not an approach for multi terabyte migration scenarios and sometimes you know especially around teams migration it's impossible you can't do it manually incremental um, approach is, is, a, is a very very common use case for um, for very large environments and it's also a use case when, when the users still want to work on the source environment but also, but also are working on the target environment so you know it's not it's, it's not like hey please here end users please stop working on the, on the source no they definitely want to work and continue on the source environment the migration is already started so they have to sync and do an incremental migration on the source and target because both environments are currently in use. And then you definitely need to 